This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, Unit 3, which is Animation and Games, Lesson 9, Sprite Movement, Part 11. Debug watching the counter pattern. Let's practice using watchers to debug your code. Oh, that's what we learned about in the last one. All right, this program should move the motorcycle from the bottom left to the top right. Will the image uh, like the image to the right. Unfortunately, the motorcycle moves off the screen too quickly to see what's going wrong. Using the providing wa the provided watchers for cycle.x and cycle.y, right, so these properties, which are just variables assigned to cycle, which must be, yep, it's a sprite. Uh, figure out which one is moving in the wrong direction and fix the problem. Okay. So using the provided watchers. Okay, so these say undefined. That is not an error. It is because the program hasn't run. So that is fine, okay? So let's hit run though. Those will change once we do. Okay, so what's causing the problem? Hmm, it's going fast. Let me just double check here. Wow, look at, uh, let's check out why. Look how fast Y moves up. That seems way too fast. It basically starts off screen. One more time. Yep, because 400 is the screen size, right? So if we do this, 400 to 400, okay? So way over here should be 400, 400. So the Y pretty much starts off the screen. So let's see why that is and fix, yeah, it wants us to fix it. All right, I'm going to I'm going to hide this for a sec. And then why why would it start off screen? Does X2 X didn't seem to move as fast. I have to run it again. Let's see. Oh, wow. X starts way too high too. Huh. Let's see. Create Oh. Well, we're creating it in 0, 0,400, and then we're moving it, we're increasing x by 10. So if we start at 0, 0,400, boom, we're off the screen right away, because we're adding to x, so that's going to go this way, right? Yep, x increases this way. Okay, and now if we're starting at 0, 0,400 and adding to y, is this 0, y? Yep, adding to y, it will go like that but it might be too fast. Hmm. All right. So we definitely want X. Where do they start theirs? Oh, they started at the bottom. So, oh yeah, that would make sense. Zero, 0,400. Okay. Well, let's just do de some debugging. Wow, look at that. I'm going to try. I actually am not certain right now, but I'm going to try one and since we have watchers, we can see what happens. Reset, run. Okay, so now we can at least see it go in the wrong direction. Ooh, it still goes pretty fast though. All right, so we notice it's on this corner here, but it's going this way. So how could we change that? Well, if we wanted to go up to some degree, we would need x to, we would need y to increase. Y is increasing. Let's see one more time. So X is, oh, Y looks like it's a problem because it's already at 400, of course. So let's go ahead and then, do they want it to start at this corner? They do. So we don't want to use a plus. We're going to get rid of these and add a minus. Now we need to go back to Sprite, Sprite Y, change Sprite over to Cycle, and let's try subtracting one. This might not be fast enough, but let's see. Okay, so that looks like it's going the right way. Now, maybe they do want it at 10. 10 seemed really fast, but let's try. Well, I'm actually going to take a look at five first. Hmm. Is theirs faster? Let's see. Oh yeah, 
They must do one out of 10. All right. And the nice thing is with code debugging, you can be wrong a lot. I can keep hitting run and reset, and that is fine. Oh, that looks good to me. So let's try one more time. Yep, just as fast as theirs. Perfect. I think we got it. Great. Let's keep going.